Hey YouTube, thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to do a year review of the Olight i3S EDC flashlight. Stick around. Hey guys, this is the Olight i3S and I've been carrying this guy for over a year now so I figured it was a pretty good idea to go over the wear and tear that has uh, occurred on this little guy and overall the uh, performance and uh, I will tell you that this little light here I love it now uh, the specifications on it uh, just as lumen wise um, 80 lumens on high, 20 lumens on medium, half a lumen, like a moonlight, look, I guess they call it a moonlight, uh, on low, and then it does have a strobe function, which is kind of difficult to make happen. You have to like, uh, do this like three times, and I never can, yeah, see, it takes a while to strobe through that. Anyway, um you can see there is some paint wear now when I first got this uh, it did have a keychain attachment which I never really liked it was kinda cheesy I thought and um, where is the uh, yeah right here is where the keychain deal came off and there was a few links and like a lobster clasp type deal I never liked that uh, I did carry it on my keys for a little bit, probably about two months uh, before I took it off, and I just took that whole keychain area off. And now I carry this in my, I guess they call that the fifth pocket in your jeans, uh, the little pocket on the right hand side. This is perfect. It slides right down that little pocket, and in the summertime, I wear this uh, in my cargo shorts. I usually wear cargo shorts in the summertime and I usually slide this on one of the pockets not actually in the pocket I'll actually use this clip to slide it in the pocket so anyway um, I really like this light uh, you can see there's some wear and tear on the clip um, not huge uh, the bevel has a little bit of paint coming off of it but again I you know I use it uh, the actual glass itself hasn't been impacted in any way. There's no chips or damages there. It has the XPG2 uh, Cree bulb in there. And when you first turn it on, uh, it's on 20 lumens. And then it goes to 80 lumens. And then it goes to that moonlight mode. I will tell you that uh, it takes one AAA battery. And my battery life gets anywhere between... Uh, four to eight weeks depending now during the winter time I feel like I use this a lot more um, just uh, especially like out on the driveway maybe going to go get mail or something like that if it was icy this uh, I have a black uh, top asphalt driveway and this would shine the ice in that area and I would use this to point down at the driveway when I was walking and uh, if there was ice, then I would uh, more than likely see it. So, um, you know, I think I use it more in the winter time just because there's not as much light uh, around. So I think that, uh, you know, 30 days um, of use during the winter time is pretty good for the battery. And uh, I go back and forth. Sometimes I use my Eneloop rechargeable batteries in here, and sometimes I'll just use a regular Duracell. Uh, both get about the same type of uh, life as far as the uh, ba battery life is concerned. But overall, man, I really love this light. Um, and actually, uh, when I'm going around locking up the house in the evenings, my wife is always in bed before I am. When I go into the bedroom to uh, go get uh, undressed and whatever, uh, I put it on the moonlight mode. And it doesn't disturb her at all. I don't have to turn the lights on in the bedroom. I can get undressed, do what I need to do, and go in there without disturbing her and turning on lights and everything else. And uh, so this is uh, a great little EDC. 
The one thing that I would recommend that I would like to have is the um, the pocket clip to have that interchangeable so you could put it on a hat and wear it uh, so it could be uh, worn either way. That would make this perfect. And I'm not really big into the twisty, uh, the twist turn on the bevels. Uh, I would, I'm looking for a nice rear clicky. Um, and I might look into the Olay Baton. Uh, that looks like a, lot, a little bit fatter than this one. It's not nearly as thin. And I know that they make the rechargeable model. But anyway, I love this little light. Um, for an EDC, it is perfect, small. 80 lumens is pr plenty bright. Uh, and the one thing I would let you know, guys, is uh, when the battery starts getting low in here, I'm having you have problems cycling through the modes. Like it'll just stay on one mode. I found uh, when the battery starts getting really weak, it's like you just get one mode. And uh, when you try to go to the moonlight mode, it won't even come on. It'll just stay at I guess it's probably the 20 lumens, which is what you get when you first turn this. And uh, when the battery starts getting low, you just don't get mode. You just get light. So that's how you kind of know that the battery's starting to. Uh, needing to be replaced but that's it guys I just wanted to kind of do a follow-up after a year of using this thing um, I forget the price point on this I know I think it was between between like 38 and 50 bucks I don't remember I do have an, a, a video back in my playlist maybe I'll put the link here somewhere uh, if you want to see the original unboxing and all the specifications of this light I can add that in that's it guys, I certainly appreciate your time, and uh, if you're looking for a, a really cool little EDC light, maybe this, uh, this guy fits the bill for you. Thanks. As always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Mm -hmm.